Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna try to record this video without any editing at all, just to show you, you know, what I'm feeling, my thoughts are, unfiltered, unedited, all that kind of stuff, and see if I can keep it, I'm gonna, it's like a test to myself, can I keep it together for the entirety of this video? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> uh, this video is probably already posted by the time you're watching, see, there, there's my brain going already. Yep, I had mushrooms, folks. I had, well, let's get the packaging now. Take a look at it together, shall we? <laughs> this is called microchips here. It's probably mirrored right now because of phones. Uh, but it's four grams per bar. It took three squares, which is considered a microdose. So, not ready for threshold and definitely not ready for macro at this point. But, yeah, definitely. I would say so far my experience of taking this has been positive. Because, of course, you know, I've had smaller doses of mushrooms in the past. But today, taking three pieces, which is about point, about point eight. Well, I'm sorry, point. Wow, come on, brain, let's go. Calculate, calculate. Point two two per piece, so it's point. So it's basically two thirds of a gram. I thought it was more than that. Now I'm like, oh, I thought I had more than that. Oh well, no big deal. Yeah, it's about point two two per square. Is eighteen squares in the package, so I think I had about point six six repeating gram. Yes. Points of grams of <laughs> mushroom. And the only reason why I'm, I probably sound a little bit more intoxicated than you would otherwise expect to on this is, well, maybe I'm thinking and projecting that I am, but anyways, it doesn't matter. The point is, I also smoked one Delta 8 cigarette after, just so you know, so the accurate, you know, report of what I'm actually consuming today, I had one of these as well afterwards. Now, granted, it was several hours later, so, but it seems to take, you know, kind of ride off of that like i would need like two or three of those cigarettes to really feel delta eight but just one i'm feeling pretty good um so why am i sharing this on my faith evolve channel i guess just to kind of show that this channel is not always just about you know me having a, a specific topic and i'm all just like you know giving this philosophical viewpoint on it and you know sounding professional i mean this trust me just 30 minutes ago, I was in the shower, and I had so many ideas going through my head. Like, I want to do a video on the layers of forgiveness. I want to do a video on Adam and Eve uh, and how they're explained in the Arrangement Book. Trust me, the ideas are coming out so fast. The problem is, I get so many good ideas already formulated in my head and how it's going to play out. You know, even, sometimes even scenes and stuff. But then I get overwhelmed by it, and I don't remember all of it. So, I don't have writer's block. The flow is freaking open the spigot is all the way open. All the ideas come out and they're just like too much, too overwhelming. Uh, and then sometimes when I'm actually, you know, in, you know, having some downtime and I want to record a video, it's like, that's when the spigot is off and I have no inspiration. So it's like, I feel like I need to jump on it. Like right now I had the idea, let's do a video. Completely uncut, unedited, unedited, <laughs> unedited. Um, and without any changes, because there's many times, already at this point in this video, three minutes and 19 seconds in, I would have stopped it and started over, or I would have, you know, at least stopped it and like started the next segment and then chopped it and what have you. So I'm trying to get better about the, about the you know, consciousness, you know, stream of consciousness aspect of streaming these videos, um, so, or recording these videos. So now I'm surprised that, you know, only having 0. 0.66 grams now, I thought it was 0. 0.75, and I'm feeling this affected by it, because people say you don't really feel effects when you're taking micro doses, but that's clearly not the case. This might be a stronger strain of mushroom, I'm not sure, but, so my whole goal with this, really, just to get more personal, is I would like to be able to overcome several vices and addictions that I have been struggling with throughout my entire life, um, and now I've come to the point where I don't feel too much shame over them. It says, well, I'm a human being. I'm trying to figure this all out. We're all on a spiritual journey. It's okay if I sometimes smoke cigars or have Delta 8. Um, and sometimes I, you know, obviously now I'm doing, trying microdosing mushrooms. I have no attention at all, what's intention at all whatsoever of abusing it or of trying to get high for the sake of getting high. My goal is spiritual progress. And I've heard multiple people say that microdosing mushrooms can foster you still got to do the work in your head. You still got to think it through, but it'll help foster the environment of chemicals in your brain so that you can think and receive more positively. So that's my goal with it. And I'm hoping that it helps really alleviate some of my feelings of needing to gravitate towards certain addictions, some of which I mentioned, some of which I will not because they're more personal in nature if you can figure it out. 
So, and, you know, it's not something that most of humanity doesn't struggle with, you know. But for the sake of my channel at this point, I actually think I wanted to get a lot larger before I, you know, drop more personal details because, you know, you know, human nature is sometimes, you know, they, they want uh, some big juicy detail, whether it be negative or positive and, you know, what have you. And I figure if someone's going to use try to use that against me, I might as well, you know, make some kind of, not profit, but make some kind of um, positive, you know, <laughs> response to it on my end, you know. You know, sometimes negative attention is good attention, you know. Not that I, again, it's not my goal to use that, but I'd rather, you know, there's some stuff that I feel like I'm holding back with is what I'm getting at on this channel. Some ideas, thoughts, concepts, you know, just so many things that I feel like I'm holding back on. And you know, sometimes I feel a little guilty about that because I feel like, well, why should I wait till my audience grows to 1,000 plus to start releasing some really good quality videos? I should be doing that right now, you know? And then I think to myself, am I ever going to hit you know, like at this point, I, it's not even a question anymore. I know I'm going to hit a thousand subscribers. My channel, my channel rate has been steadily increasing, or subscriber rate has been increasing steadily over the past three years of my channel. So it's going to hit there at one point. But how am I going to respond then? So I'm holding myself accountable by sharing all this to you guys, because maybe someday I will hit it. You know, big in the sense of how channels can go. You know, maybe a million subscribers or half a million or whatever. And you guys will go back to look at this video and say, hey, bro, you did it. Or, hey, bro, you're a freaking hypocrite. <laughs> Whatever the case is, I don't care. It's like I'm all about being real. To the extent my ultimate goal is to be real, sometimes I don't always come all the way out with it because I'm afraid of rejection. I'm afraid of you know someone you know, using the information against me. But in the end, I don't have anything to hide. Like I literally – like. Literally don't have a criminal record, you know, <laughs> I've been an outstanding citizen in society. Yeah, okay, look at porn sometimes, you know, whatever, you know, it's like, there's no, no there's nothing out there that anybody could use against me whatsoever. So what is my freaking problem, you know, <laughs> like, why am I even worried about this stuff? Because again, it's all personal stuff, like personal shame of, of just how I feel like right now, I haven't even shaved, didn't even shave and I'm like, oh, that looks, that looks great, yeah. So it's all how I'm you know, projecting how I think I, other people feel about me, but it's really me, myself, that's thinking it, you know? And that's, you know, one of the biggest lessons I've learned on this entire spiritual journey is only you can hurt yourself. Literally, your own thoughts about what's happening are what actually hurts you more than and more long-term than the actual in-the-moment thing that hurt you. Um, yeah, so I, this video did not go in the direction I thought it was going to go. It was, you know, again, I wasn't intending it to be like a review of the mushrooms I'm taking per se. Um, but it's just, you know, I want to, you know, if I'm going to be doing this and it's for spiritual, my spiritual progress, then why shouldn't it go on my channel? Why shouldn't this part of my journey go on the channel? You know, am I ever going to do a macro dose someday? <sighs> at this point, I would say 100% no. Honestly, because I feel it's like, like at the, how I feel now, it would be way too overwhelming. Even the three squares I took this morning. Like, and I didn't even take them all together. It's like, I took them two and then I waited half an hour, took the other half over the course of another half hour. So it took me an hour for I really, maybe an hour and a half even before I fully ingested all the chocolate. Um, so I don't know, like just even feeling how powerful that was, considering that was a high end of a micro dose. Like I haven't even hit the threshold of it yet. So who knows what could happen <laughs> If I did that, so I, f I tell you what, though, some of the effects of this, I would, I would say it feels like you're high on weed, but you have more control over how fear affects you. Um, and that could just be the work I've been doing on it, too. But I feel like it's not as intense as getting a really big body or you know head high off of weed. Uh, it's cleaner. It's like more manageable. Um, again, at this low dose, could that just be the same thing as, a, you know, micro microdosing THC? Maybe. I don't know. But... It just feels better overall than the experience I've had ever smoking weed. Um, weed, 99% of the time, maybe have anxiety afterwards, sometimes even a panic attack. So that's why I completely stay away from Delta 9 THC. I just stick with the 8 or sometimes 10 when I do smoke it. Um, but again, I would like to be able to get to the point where I don't need any of these substances whatsoever. And if, if any, of these sub any of these substances I'm taking, like alcohol, kratom, Delta 8... Mushrooms even, like, at some point, like, if my, sp my spiritual journey, I'll be using these substances as I get there. But once I realize or get to the point where I'm, my, my awareness is there, I'm like, okay, I don't need these substances anymore. Yeah, then I'll just let them go, you know? I would like that to be now. 
that's one of my intentions actually going into this was being able to let go of all those things and also letting go of this. You know, tying my worth to my, uh, to my weight. That's another thing I've been struggling with. So I tried to let that go too. And yeah, so that's pretty much my experience so far. Definitely, you know, as far as if I was to call this a review video of, of microdosing mushrooms, definitely recommend you don't want to do it at least at the very beginning when you have work to do because it can be, you know, it can make you a little tired at first. And then you can, you know, sometimes, like at least the first time I did it, I actually got like inspired to play my guitar and I was playing it better than I played it in a long time. Like the notes were just flowing through my fingers and it wasn't a struggle. It felt nice. And that was on taking, I think it was actually, yeah, two squares. So 0.44 grams. So another thing I wanted to work on is definitely my music and finding people that I mesh with, specifically my kind of heavy metal, melodic, progressive, um, most bands hailing from Europe, like that kind of stuff. And it's very hard to find people that are into that around here. And I have ideas and dreams about doing a spiritual metal band as well. That's funny. I said spiritual right when I said 11-11. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, that would be sweet. But again, I feel like it's just me here all alone in my apartment. What's new, right? Well, what's new is that is the old me. And it's time to level up, bros, right? <laughs> no, I got to believe that, right? That's one of the things that hit me was, all right, you say all this stuff, but do you actually believe it? Here's the test, right? All right, guys, I've been kind of rambling long enough. Again, I'm more feeling, feeling it because I had one of those Delta 8 cigarettes a few hours after. But it really doesn't affect you so much where you're feeling intoxicated. So anyway, that's my review. Thanks, guys. God bless. We'll have some more higher quality, higher quality videos in the future.